The Buckingham Battery Hoist addresses the dangers of removing and installing batteries and power packs while working from a ladder or bucket truck. When you combine the weight of the battery and the person, this has the potential to overload the weight capacity of the ladder or bucket platform. The battery hoist eliminates the user from handling the battery during ascent and descent. The battery hoist also benefits the user, providing better control to prevent accidents. This video will illustrate the ease to remove and install batteries while working from a ladder. The Buckingham battery hoist includes the mounting winch bracket, one inch web sling, rope tensioner, battery clamp, and an extra long ladder lock system, all conveniently packed in the buck carry bag. Buckingham recommends using the buck ladder tether, otherwise known as the BLT, in conjunction with the battery hoist. The BLT is a ladder mounted lifeline system that incorporates a mobile fall arrester, MFA, which allows 100% fall protection for the user while ascending and descending. Buckingham also recommends using the breakaway hand line hook and hand line assembly. The following are the basic steps to provide the user a safe operation while working from a ladder. Install the Buckingham ladder lock to latch the ladder to the pole. With the ladder latched to the pole and the user secured to the BLT, this creates a more secure, safer system for users. Prior to the climb, secure a handline rope onto a breakaway handline carrier on one end and attach the mounting winch bracket using the metal hook to the other end. Insert the one inch web sling and rope tensioner in the nut and bolt bag prior to leaving the ground. If using the BLT, test to ensure the cam on the mobile fall arrester, MFA, operates properly prior to use by gliding the MFA upward about a foot and then give it a quick jerk to ensure it locks onto the rope. If using the BLT, Attach the BLT carabiner to the harness sternum connector. Using three points of contact and attach to the BLT, climb the ladder to the desired work position. When at the desired height, secure the work positioning strap around the rails and rungs following your employer's work practice. Once secured by both the BLT and work position strap, open and secure the cabinet door then lift the mounting winch bracket using the hand line. Place the mounting winch bracket onto the edge of the cabinet, ensuring that the hook at the end of the bracket captures the inside of the cabinet door opening. With the mounting winch bracket on top of the cabinet, secure the rope tensioner around the pole about six inches above the top of the cabinet. With the rope tensioner around the pole, Place the hook into the mounting winch bracket designated I. Pull rope through tensioner until taut. This will secure the mounting winch bracket to the cabinet. Wrap the one inch web sling around the pole, passing the working end of strap through the sewn eye to securely fasten around the pole. With the one inch web sling mounted approximately 12 inches above the top of the cabinet, Place the free end of the one inch strap onto the ratchet binder, pull until snug, and ratchet until the mounting winch bracket is no longer supported by the cabinet. To raise a new battery, the winch line hook can be attached to the battery clamp prior to climbing, or connect the hook to the battery clamp from above. To install a new battery, crank the winch raising the battery above the cabinet drawer, then pull out the drawer and crank the battery down onto the cabinet drawer. To remove a battery, open the drawer, attach the battery clamp, secure the winch hook, and raise the battery allowing the drawer to close to lower the battery. When done, disconnect straps from the mounting winch bracket and secure in nut and bolt bag. Lower winch bracket with the hand line, close and secure cabinet door, disconnect positioning strap from ladder, and descend to ground, keeping three points of contact on the ladder. The battery hoist can also be used from a bucket truck to prevent the heavy battery from riding on the lip of the basket, 
which is against OSHA work practices. Should this operation be done from a bucket truck instead of climbing a ladder, the procedures are very similar and the user can perform all functions from the basket.